from 2015. Australia is blessed with an internationally competitive education system as well as many natural endowments that make her a playmate for migration. Students come here and pay much. They are not all wealthy, but they all work hard. They aren't allowed under travel visa to work a lot to earn money they need to pay for education. But the promise is that if they work hard, earn their degree, they can then migrate to Australia. Many become model citizens, but Australia is not very kind to those she promises a future. These are not boat people who queue jump, but people exploited, sometimes working illegally and paid cash in hand. Illegally, there is no minimum wage, 70 hour weeks at $10 an hour, living conditions that are beneath poverty levels, university fees that are 300% higher than their Australian classmates, traveling on public transport without a ticket is a $75 fine in Melbourne. The ticket may have been bought, but it can't be presented because of over site, then it costs more than seven hours of work. But if the ticketless person is unemployed, they can avoid paying the fine altogether through work for the doll measures, which pays $50 an hour towards fines. We don't always highly value our best in Australia. Greek compassion for illegal boat people is wavering. The truth is, it isn't compassionate to drown people wanting to migrate. Press made much of the earlier claims of Greek hospitality for survivors of the people smugglers, but the riots on homeless peoples who survived people smuggling suggest the rosy picture is not an accurate one. ALP attempting to shut down the Royal Commission into Trade Unions. It isn't a terrible mistake or error of judgment, as some say. A highly respected judge who fronts the Royal Commission was scheduled to speak at a Liberal Party fundraiser. The arrangement is years old. The Royal Commission is recent, so as to avoid the appearance of bias, the judges declined the event. Now, the Australian Labour Party claimed that the judge, who has done nothing wrong and who has not even appeared anything but impartial regarding the Royal Commission, should step aside and close down the Royal Commission. They have to say something, because the mounting evidence is damning. Turnbull's outspoken attack on government policy. Turnbull has previously said that speaking against government policy for a minister should be a sackable offence. But the same-sex marriage issue seems too important to let pass for him. The important question Turnbull has not answered is, does he feel that religious clerics who act on conscience should go to jail or be sued? Jimmy Carter has cancer. Hillary Clinton is fading. Bad days for Democrats regarding the presidency because the incumbent is so bad and the next time isn't their turn. They will campaign for a stronger Congress position, but they will need to find a policy which somehow doesn't bankrupt the nation.